So you guys really want to see more of these? All right. All right, well, in this week's episode, I actually didn't film any of me building the actual props, and I apologize for that. I uh, was feeling a little under the weather on the day when I had to come in to build it, so I just came in real quick, built the stuff, and got out of here. I'm just going to kind of talk about the props that I built for this week's episode. And really, in all honesty, it was a pretty light episode. There was only two real props that I had to build for this week's show. As you can see, I got another list there Doug sent out. But before he sent it out, about a day or two before he sent the script out, I think he was actually still working on the script, he called me and he's like, we're doing Cinderella, old versus new. I need you to build me a giant gun that I can strap to my crotch that I'm going to call Johnson Justice. So I was like, obviously. Um, immediately, I kind of started thinking about what I wanted to do and how I wanted to build it. And I knew I was going to have to make it out of uh, very lightweight materials. Originally, I was kind of thinking I'm just going to build it out of cardboard tubing and you know, mostly cardboard itself. So it's lightweight and it can be supported with just a belt around his waist. However, as I said, I wasn't feeling too well when I came in that day. So I really didn't feel like building anything from scratch. <laughs> so... I just started pulling pieces off the shelves of things I had lying around that I could quickly slap together and make this prop and still make it look good enough to where you know it looks like a gun and it can be worn on your crotch. So what resulted was Johnson Justice. It's already kind of falling apart as you can see. It wasn't built to last. But I'll kind of go with a little breakdown of all the parts uh, that I used to assemble this crotch gun. Some of you might have already recognized right off the bat the end or the extension on the barrel here is blade sword from last week's episode. It's just that PVC. I didn't even paint it. It's still painted the same black with some of the highlighting on it and then the grip, the piece of tubing that I used that was on there is just glued to the bottom of the gun there. Uh, um, yeah, and it's just being held on with a piece of dowel rod with some tape around it and some foam to kind of hold it into place. The barrel itself is off of a Nerf gun. I've got a bin back there full of Nerf gun parts. So I just grabbed that and glued it to a piece of PVC. And the PVC uh, pipe, I had a threaded uh, fitting for the end of it and I have a flange so I could just screw the fitting right to the flange and then bolted the flange to this piece of MDF board which I cut in the shape of a crotch and attached the belt so that he can strap it on and do whatever he does. The outer covering to kind of cover up the obvious big plastic PVC tube is just a piece of gutter extension. It's just a piece of plastic that you can buy at Home Depot for your gutters, a little extension piece um, to kind of give your gutter an extra like, you know, two or three feet or something like that. It was already painted. I already used it for something else. So I just cut it down and cut the notches in both sides that I could feed the bullets into like that. And the bullets are just Halloween store or costume store bullets that you can purchase at like Party City or something like that. I have a whole bin full of them. I just took off the, as many as I needed and wrapped them around the lid of a spray paint bottle, a spray paint can. Just had a bunch of discarded lids lying around, so I just popped one of those off, glued the bullets to it, and glued the bullets then to the gun. That's about it. All the pieces were actually already kind of painted. I don't think, I think I just had to touch up the paint real quick, but essentially that was it. I kind of threw it together probably in about two hours. In my mind, it was gonna be a little different. Uh, the only thing that kind of, initially when he told me what I wanted, what initially when he told me that he needed it, I, was, I knew I was gonna have the, the double drum 
of uh, machine gun bullets attached. Uh, that was the, the only thing that kind of remained from my initial thought of how I was going to build it, but ultimately it came together and quite often that's kind of how it goes. Uh, the other prop that we needed for this episode was a landmine for Devil Boner to step on, blow up. Again, I wasn't feeling well. I was kind of like, I don't care. I just need something that already exists. Barney came in to give me a hand um, with kind of acquiring some of the other props and items. Or really, was just kind of finding stuff. We needed a Rastafarian hat, so we had that already in uh, our hat bin over there. And then we needed a CD that had like a print CD. Uh, the landmine, I uh, very simply was just like, let's just grab a paper plate from our kitchen, and that's all it really is. Land one, it kind of fell apart since filming. But uh, yeah, it's just a paper plate that I cut the brim off of, and spray painted black with a little bit of gray and stuff. And then the button, or whatever you want to call it on the top there, was just a cap off of a yeah, it's just the cap off of like a squeeze pouch, like those kind of fruit on the go kind of squeeze pouches, just the cap off one of those. And a little piece of PVC um, tubing that was glued to the top, glued on there. And then Barney uh, just glued a bunch of other random pieces of plastic that I had lying around uh, to the top of it to kind of give it some texture. And that was it. That was all we really did. It was uh, it really only took like minutes to construct. So kind of a light episode this week. Not a lot of stuff to show you. Yeah, and Johnson Justice is kind of an interesting prop. So I figured I would at least talk about the prop building process for that particular prop. I just want to start off by saying thank you to the outpouring of support uh, that we got from the first episode. I really appreciate it. I was uh, kind of overwhelmed, actually, by how much you guys really enjoyed the show and the prospect of it becoming a show. So we're going to make it a show. And I'm going to try and make it as interesting as possible. <laughs> if uh, you guys are interested in just seeing me build stuff for the Nostalgia Critic episodes, we, I can continue to do that. Um, if you guys are also interested in seeing me build other props for other projects or just for fun, um, we can do that too. Yeah, by all means, let me know in the comments and I'll try and continue to build cool stuff and make it entertaining to watch. So thanks so much again for all the support. Uh, I was really kind of blown away by how much you guys really liked the show and really wanted to see more. So tune in and uh, see you next time.